Okay? Okay, so could somebody read step one on cereal box instructions, which are in your chapter 10 folder in Schoology? Okay, Megan. Use the large construction paper you choose in school to cover a cereal box completely, but with no overlap. You will do this by making a net. Therefore, there will be only, se only B7 seams. All right, here's how I do this. Um, and maybe you can come over and film this morning. I'm going to do it here. Cereal box, paper. You're going to take all of that today, and you're going to take your cereal box. Unless, if you have a really big cereal box, I have a couple extra big sheets of paper, but all the regular ones will fit on here. If you can't see, make sure you can see me doing this. I'm lining, start with your cereal box on the edge and start with it this way. Like you don't want it this way or any other, you want it just like this to the edge. And I'm going to trace all the lateral faces of the cereal box, okay, as accurately as I can. I'm going to go a little quick, maybe quicker than you guys will because you want to be real careful. And then I turn it and I trace it. And this is having me then have a drawing of all the lateral faces. Again, all your boxes, for the most part, will fit on this paper. And this. And, okay. And then, we have all the lateral faces, yes? Adam, you watching? I need to get, do I have, am I done? Will that completely cover the box? What am I missing? The top and bottom. So either here or here, it doesn't matter. Flip it up. Trace that, okay, and here, trace that, okay? All right, now you guys can all sit, because that's all you need to be able to see there. So that's step, uh, I'm still on step one, I have to cut this thing out, so I'm going to do that quick. Okay, um, so I'm going to just cut on the line. You're going to be careful, I'm going to go pretty quick, okay? but you're going to do this carefully. You should be leaving class today with this, all, everything that I'm doing almost finished. Okay. And then, what I like to tell kids to do, is fold on those lines too. So I'm just gonna, you don't have to come over this. I'm just gonna quickly fold everywhere where there's a line. So that's not quite right. Okay, fold, fold. I go back to my box, if all goes well, this is going to cover that thing perfectly. You see that? Isn't that sweet? And with just a couple <coughs> pieces of tape, you're going to cover your box up because you made a net that's the exact same size as the cereal box. <coughs> okay? Voila. Yeah? Okay, now, what it said in there, Megan mentioned seven seams. One piece of paper, right? You're not cutting out six rectangles and sticking them on here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven seams. You don't really have to worry about that seven seams. If you do it the way I just did it, it'll come out perfect. You with me? Okay, read number two on the directions. Amira, go. Um, attach the net to the zero line. Oh, I did that already. I did two. Okay, I'm so um, smart. Do the next one. Choose inches or centimeters using the same unit for all, measure, all measurements. All right. Measure choose inches or centimeters. You can choose inches or centimeters. It doesn't really matter to me. This is not in the packet, so make sure to remember. If you use inches, just go to the nearest half inch. And if you use centimeters, Rudy, just go to the closest um, centimeter. So write this on your instructions right now. If, well, they might not have an open in notability. So it's, it's okay. I just I may, just don't do anything that makes it too hard. And we'll remind you. I don't I don't want to put this on the video. Round the nearest half inch or the nearest centimeter. Rod, can you get that front light for me really quick? And can you guys help me measure? I think I'm gonna go, I'm gonna use inches, okay? So um length. Sorry for 
for those of you watching at home. <laughs> okay. Length. Relax. It'll, it'll be okay. Right. Length with height. Box. Length is going to be this dimension. So you start, okay, a lot of kids will just set the ruler down randomly. It's a good idea to start it at zero. Okay? Start there and then look. And I don't know if you can see, but where do you what do you think to the nearest inch my length is? Eight. Eight. I agree. Or to the nearest half inch even, it's still eight. I'm gonna go eight. Eight inches. Okay? How about the width? I'm gonna call this dimension the width. And if you mix those up, I'm not worried. What would you call that to the nearest half inch? Two and a half. Two and a half? I call it two and a half. Height. Let's see if, you can, if I can get this up on the camera for you guys. What would you call that for height? Ten. Ten and a half. Here's ten. Here's ten and a half. Here's eleven. You know what? I think ten and a half. It's, it's kind of hard to see from the perspective. It's ten and a half. So you'll be able to do that. All right, ten and a half inches. So it's actually to measure them. Then what does it say for me to do with that information? Stacy, what does it say? Uh, on the back, clearly write your name and also clearly write all three measurements for labels. All right. Mrs. Siski, you're going to not take your time and write neatly. And that's, I wrote this on another sheet of paper, but because I've got tape, I can just go like this and stick that on there. So this is why we're not going to get too worried about what color paper we have. It doesn't matter. Okay, because you can just add things to it. All right, so I've got that. Yes? What's the next thing to do on the list? Could somebody be? McKenna, what's next? Um, number four? Yes. On the back, clearly write your name in the block. You did already do that. Five. Keep going. I guess we're on five. Okay. Compute the surface area with work shown. On the back. Let's do it. I'm going to do it on a separate sheet of paper. Okay? So, and then I'll attach that paper. Surface area, I'm going to write the formula. We've been working on this one for a while. Sorry, paper perimeter. Let me just put here. How do I find the area of, you know what? I forgot we did this in the other block. It helped. I'm going to draw a little sketch of my cereal box right here. Okay? With the dimensions. 8, 2.5, and 10.5. How do I find the area of the base? Uh, Elena? And what numbers do I multiply by each other? Not yet. That's going to give me volume. Not yet. I just want area of the base. Let me do 8 times 2.5. 20. Good. 8 times 2.5. Okay. How do I find the perimeter of the base? What's the between us? A team. No last names. What's way X? Um, no, I said D. Do, do, uh, do 10.5 for the, oh, yeah, for, the, for the height and then for the perimeter, you do 8 uh, times 2 and then 2.5 times 2 and then you add those. Two. Good, yeah. 8 and 8 and 2.5 and 2.5. So I'm going to add them all up. So 2.5 and 2.5 is 5. And 8 and 8 is 16, so I'm just going to add that all up on my calculator. And he, he was right, I have to times that by 10.5 because that's the height. Do some order of operations. 1 times 10.5, 220.5, and add them up. Okay, 260.5 square inches. And I think it says for me to show the work and put it on the back, right? You're going to do this nice and neat. I'm going to click right. So there, that work is on the back. Next thing. Adam, what's the next thing on the list? Not yet. No, nope. something was skipped. I did surface area. What number are we on, everybody? Six. Six. What does it say for six, Adam? Here's the bottom of the work shown on the back. Okay, so we have the Oh, Volume of a rectangular prism is this. <coughs> How do I find the... Well, we already knew the area of the base, right? Didn't we find it right here? 20? Yes? Mm -hmm. Don't leave me hanging, people. 20. Height is 
1.5. So this is the one where we multiply them all together. All right, so 20 times 10.5 equals 210 cubic inches this time, okay? Stick that on the back of the box. Again, you're going to make yours pretty and nice and neat. All right, what's next? Jacob. Okay, mine is Siskios. Hmm. All right, what's next? Last one, I think, right? Where are we? Stacy? Decorate the front with the new name and any other serial information you would like to include. This should be neat and colorful. Use all the space, so an image or some sort, picture, drawing, etc., can be so good to look at the cereal box at home or on the grocery store for ideas. Decorate, decorate, decorate. I'm skipping that part. That's what you do at home. Okay, done. This this is much, I did that in whatever, 14 minutes or so. Go back to Schoology, open up the rubric, and let's grade my project and see how I did. Okay, what is the first thing on the rubric, Elena? The box is covered completely with one sheet. Success? Seven seams, right? Five points. What's next on the river? Go ahead. Boxes, no. Go ahead. That's all right, Elena. Go. We'll do one more. Boxes, no overlap in colors. No overlap. All the seams are clear. Okay, I'm good. Five points. Um, Ms. McNeil. I did last name again. Um, oh, this guy, right? Length, width, and height with labels. Check. Five points. What's next, Rudy? Do you have it up? Um, the rubric? No. Okay, what's next after the um, putting the dimensions? Oh, um, length is measured accurately. Oh, yeah. So it, I think separately were length, width, and height. 15 points for being able to measure accurately. Miss Trace and I will measure every box and check every one of your measurements. So it takes us a while to grade this one. But I knocked that out of the park. 15 points. You guys helped me. What's next after all those? Surface area, volume. nailed it with a unit. Five points. Volume, nailed it with a unit. What's next? Clever name. Meh. Sure, give me five points for that. Did I decorate it? Not yet. So I got a zero for that because I didn't decorate it. Name and block, check. I just earned 45 out of 50. I have a 90% on this project in 14 minutes. Yes, yeah, Sam? Okay. So now you know how to, to get a 100%. There's your roadmap. We're good? Mm -hmm. yeah. You can stop the video.